Hi everybody, here's my new project. A miniature city using recycled or repurposed materials. Um, so what I've done is I've got a train set here, which was used in the other Christmas display. Um, same sort of train. Um, and I've got a, a 200 by 900 bed frame from a single king, I think it is, in New Zealand. Um, and because of these tracks here, you can't go and buy the straight ones. I've had to make some out of these sticks, uh, or dowels if you like to call them. And just use those instead, it runs quite well like that. As you can see, a big hole through the middle, uh, which will go right up into here, where the old Pepsi can is. Um, that goes all the way through the city, and goes up and hides through there. That's actually going to be a working river. So we're going to have a pond here, we'll start pumping water from here, it'll just flow down. We'll just flow all the way down into there. That's going to be sort of a logging area here. Here we have the farm area here, so we have some farming going on, some sheep, some cows, what are we going to have? Uh, we've got the shed there, right here, the shed. Up here is the, the wall, changed into a wall. And that's going to be the start of the hills. There's going to be a hill through here. I'm going to have a tunnel here and a tunnel here. It's also a good way I can hide the working mechanisms for the pump. Uh, that's why you chose this bed like this, because it's just basically a base and you just lift it up and pull it off. Because I'm out here though, I'm just going to use up in the wall and glue them up there. Um, so that'll be the start of the, of the sort of mountain hill. Um, the farmhouse will be here. We're going to have a park with some fishing, and maybe, I don't know, some canoe hire or something. Across here, we're going to have a bridge going across to what's going to be where my upside down little is. Um, we're going to make that look like a sawmill. Um, so we're going to make the trucks go up and around, come out and put logs and stuff, and the logs will look like they maybe come up through the water there as well, something like that. Um, we'll try and do it so it's working, so it actually looks like a sawmill works. How I'm going to do that, I have no idea, but I want big logs to sort of, I want big logs to come in. Then I guess they'll hide behind a block of the machine. Then as they come out, they look like planks. Um, so I'm going to have to do that somehow in a conveyor belt system. Um, yeah, so I'll figure that one out, obviously. Um, they'll probably be going like that way into the machine, not, not that big, obviously into the machine, just go around on the conveyor belt. So it looks like the container is getting fed. And as it goes through the milling machine, it looks like they're coming out of planks. It looks like they're going to the warehouse maybe, to get stored. Something like that anyway. Um, we've got the bridge here of course. Uh, just going to be a normal bridge, doesn't really do much. Um, there we go. So that's it, the plan. A 2023 miniature city made completely from recycled or repurposed uh, materials that I have here. The only things I'll be probably buying are glue, glue sticks, um, more vehicles. But that's about it. I'm going to print off my own little block areas at the back so I can make it look like a block area. Um, and we'll go from there. Stay tuned. That is stage one. We've got at the moment. And you can see here, I've just got the railway crossing. Works really well. I um, I use my 50th anniversary contage for my test. But if that can make it over there, anything will make it over there. Because that's the lowest looking thing we've got. Well, that's it for now.